Good morning guys. Today is Friday, July 14th. It's about 6, 6.15 in the morning. I'm here at Kiwanis Park about to run about 15 little short um, uphill sprints before um, going to work out with Jason this morning. Um, it's an exciting day for the team, the Freak of Nature Fawn team. If you've ever seen me wearing any of the gear, we have several athletes competing in the Arizona Open. Um, Pre-judging is tonight and the finals will be tomorrow. So it's really exciting. Uh, Jason's been getting the squad together. My boyfriend Dennis has been training some of the athletes as well so really excited to see how everyone performs tonight I think it's everybody's first show so it's really exciting I think there's six of them I'm really looking forward to going to watch and support them this evening also I'll see if I can get Jason to talk a little bit about the team his training throwing some clips kind of a little about who my coach is um, he's also competing the week after us Dennis and I um, on the 28th or 29th in Las Vegas for the MP uh, the USA's um, so we're gonna go out there and support him really looking forward to that now it's time for me to go get these sprints in and a workout a couple more things throughout the day go to work and support the team later tonight we'll see ya So here's our guy Alan as part of the team too. We got his clothing line fit and fitted. Make sure y'all guys go check that out. We'll make sure we'll definitely have his Instagram name on the video to vlog so you can definitely go check him out. Got some of his clients right here supporting his gear. Alright. Take it. What's going on guys? I am back. Uh, just parked at the Mesa Art Center about to go watch my teammates uh, compete. It's crazy, eight months ago today, I was doing the exact same thing for the first time. So it's a pleasure to be able to watch and help other people go through their first competition. Um, we'll see if I can bring my camera in. I'm not exactly sure. Hopefully I don't have to walk all the way back to my car. We're gonna try to get it in. That's, that's going to be the goal. All right, so going to support the team, uh, Team Freak of Nature. F O N. We are on Instagram. You can get the Fawn Beast as well. All the links will be in the description of this video. Let's check it out. What's going on, you guys? My name is Dennis. Uh, I'm Taylor's boyfriend. I'm also a, a men's physique competitor. So we're just going to talk about a little bit about today and uh, Team Freaking Nature. So you know, today we have uh, the AZ Open, um, which uh, we have seven uh, fitness competitors off of Team Freaking Nature that's in the show. So this is definitely a big deal for a lot of people. You know, this is probably one of the last shows for people to try to qualify for nationals. You know, try to get to punch your ticket to USA's, you know, whatever it might be. So, you know, definitely this is a big time. You know, me and Taylor have our show next uh, week, July 22nd in Los Angeles. You know, so that's a, a definitely a big deal for us because we definitely put in the time and the effort to try to get there. Not even us, everybody has trying to sacrifice everything you know, that they have to try to get to that one moment to show, uh, showcase what they have and that opportunity to punch the ticket to go to nationals, you know? Uh, definitely has been a blessing, you know, without God, we, you know, we definitely wouldn't be here. You know, definitely have made tremendous strides to try to get here. Definitely, you know, thanks to our coach, Jason Strahan, uh, you know, that's the founder of, uh, of Team Freaking Nature. So definitely, uh, he's definitely blessed us with the gifts to try to, you know, grow and mature and, you know, and be able to teach everybody else how to get to that, to that second level. And definitely, you know, we want to get our team to the point where, you know, we're producing IFBB pros, you know. But, you know, if you're trying to be on Team Freaking Nature, you know, you got to be willing to work hard, and, you know, and, you know, no L's in 2017. Now, that's the main goal. No L's in 2017. We're not taking no backseats to nobody. Good morning guys, it is Saturday, July 15th. Hope you enjoyed the footage from pre-judging yesterday from the, some of the team, team members who are competing. Uh, tonight's finals, we'll figure out how they place. Um, so we'll hopefully get some footage of that as well, get some backstage footage maybe. So you guys can kind of see what it's like to be backstage at a competition, what's really going on, where are the competitors are really eating to pump up with. Um, so hopefully we can get some information to you.
In addition to uh, today being the finals for my teammates, I'm officially one week out from stepping on the stage. I will literally be on stage right now in exactly seven days. I cannot wait. Watching last night, I was so antsy. I wanted to just go do some cardio, some bicep curls, lateral raises. I don't know. I just wanted to get in the gym, get to my best peak condition. So that leads me into what's happening this week is what is called peak week if you've ever followed any kind of fitness competitor um, who had a show coming up they're probably counting down the weeks um, similar to what you would do when you count down the hours to get out of work or to be done with school or something like that we count down the weeks until the peak week which is the week before competition so what's taking place this week is we're starting to try to pull more water more water out of our bodies out of our muscles to get ready for the carb up so when we get on stage we look fuller um, and more and bigger basically next to our competition so for the last several weeks I've been looking really flat which means I haven't been able to get a good pump in the gym I don't have any carbs in my diet right now so I'm not really getting those big molecules flowing through my bloodstream to make me look bigger carbohydrates are really big molecules so that's why when you eat them you look a little more vascular or you can see more of your veins or your muscles look bigger after you started lifting weights so that's a whole process and how one would pump up for a show so i'll make sure and show you guys that next week as well um tomorrow starting to increase my water a ton we're cutting my salts in half not eliminating them completely this time um, so i'm excited about that nothing worse than being dehydrated not having any salt and not having any water it's a really yucky feeling um, being dehydrated in general is just a not very pleasant feeling but that's just something that we have to go through um, so tomorrow is Sunday. I have to have three gallons of water. Um, Monday, Tuesday, two gallons. Um, Wednesday, Thursday, when we get on the road, I think just one and a half or something like that. And then we'll cut down from there depending on how I am looking. So looking forward to getting through this week. It's going to be a tough one, but it can't be harder than the last six months I've been putting into this prep um, and dieting. So really looking forward to making things happen. I'm getting excited. I'll take you along the ride. A lot more interesting things to come as far as peak week, so stay tuned.